I, I asked you what was her motivation. What do you think his motivation is? Because this man, Will Smith is still Will Smith. He's beloved. This man is rich beyond belief. If Will Smith don't never have another box office success, he's good. He's still handsome. Will Smith can have any woman in the world. And on top of it, the cat's out the bag. Once upon a time, everybody wanted that Will and Jada love. That, 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 that right there, that didn't age well. That saying, it did not age Ooh, well. At all. But, but he's still sticking with her. Despite how many people, because, because once upon a time, you didn't even want to talk bad about that couple. You want to keep your opinion because they were black royalty. But everybody from top to bottom is like, my God, Will, you're being emasculated publicly. What, what is his motivation for staying? And you I can't think, tell me I just love her. I think I think he is. He's scared of what she is going to do. Women can What's the only way that a, that a, that you can inherit a powerful man from within inside? She's inside, bro. Will's a fist. Only way the motherfucker get through here is if, if one of these goddamn fingers open up. She's inside, so she, you know, the person, only person can stab you in the back is somebody standing behind you. Mm -hmm. So she got that knife at his back, and anytime she knows his, she knows his weaknesses. She knows his insecurities. She knows his dirty laundry. She knows his business. She knows, you know what I'm saying, um, that he got doo-doo streaks in his drawers. She know that, you know, he may not get his dick up. She'll go tell it all. And so a lot of times men will stay in a relationship or stay with a woman because it seems like it's easier than to get blackmailed. It seems like it's easier than to have to go through a, a nasty divorce where she's trying to take half of everything. Women are incentivized to leave us. So, fellas, y'all gotta understand that. They're incentivized to leave us. If Will, if Will and Jada get a divorce, Jada is entitled to, if they didn't do a prenup, which I'm pretty sure they didn't, Jada is entitled sure to half, half of everything that Will worked for. Will, that bitch won't shoot with him in the gym. She did not save the world on Independence Day, my boy. She was not Muhammad Ali. She did not sell all these, these, these movies. No. We saw her and set it off, and then she started talking at a red table. And so if you have all of these things, these accolades, this respect and things of that nature, and this woman at no any point in time can take it away from you, mm, you weigh your options. Deal with this bitch, lose half the bag. Deal with this bitch, lose half the bag. All right, bitch, you take your side of the wing. I'm going to take my side of the wing, and we're just going to live like that. And so I think it's the fact that Jada, because women women are manipulative too. Don't, 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 don't let these women fool who you. They know niggas' social security numbers, account numbers, know where their money at, know where their money ain't, know what they paid taxes, if they didn't, know what they did wrong, what they did illegal, what they did... Yeah, she's going to go tell it all. She's going to ruin him. Will is a prisoner by that woman. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? And it's some shit that she know that that boy don't want out. And it's, and, and, and it's, and it's so bad for him that he's willing to stay with her so it don't come out. That's what it is. She's blackmailing that man. And so he got to sit there and smile and say, <laughs> I'm dropping a new Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Because it'll be Jada, Jada Pinkett's Bel Air by the time she get finished with him. Yeah, why. I mean, um, you know, she must got something on this dude because all things considered, it, it, it comes to a point where enough is just enough. enough it's got to be the money, man. It's got to be. It's got to be the money. Know, when, 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 I mean, I'm a man just like you a man. I can't be with no woman that tells the world that another man was her soul man. Like, like how, how can you lay next to this woman and know you always going to be second best? 
because her soulmate you, you, ain't even here listen, anymore. This is what's crazy though, bro. When he leaves, if he ever leaves her, he's going to be the bad guy. They're going to label him the bad guy. They're going to say, oh, he left her hanging or, oh, he was cheating or, oh, well, if Will was cheating and goddamn it, he cheated the right way because we ain't never heard about it. Ain't none of them hoes come on goddamn TMZ and goddamn have an in interview with Angela E talking about the times that we with Will. So if he was cheating, ladies, because y'all like to say that shit, at least he cheated respectfully. Jada couldn't even keep her hoes in line. So they're still going to ridicule this man at the highest degree when he leaves her. And so he thinks about it. Man, I got to deal with this bitch taking half. Then I got to deal with these media and these goddamn shows and all these folks saying that I'm bad for leaving this cheat now. So what am I left with? Well, I could just goddamn stomach that shit and share her podcast when she say that bullshit and keep all my money and wait for that bitch to die. <laughs> 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 and you're going to see some good acting. God damn it. Will Smith going to Jada Pinkett's goddamn funeral. Them cheers he tried. That's going to be some good acting because that nigga, them be tears of joy. I can't. Hold on. So you, him going to her funeral. Well, Will going to win the Oscar. That's going to be his greatest performance yet. Tears of joy. Tears of joy. I finally got rid of this bitch. Yeah, he can't get rid of her, man. She ain't, she ain't going. She ain't going. You know what I'm saying, bro? Because you know, our early years in our lives, right? We used to have to pay to try to keep a girl. Oh, baby, please don't leave. You know, I get your nails done. Oh, baby, please don't leave. I pay the bills. Oh, baby, please don't leave me. Then you get to a certain level in life where you become affluent, you become financially stable. Then it switches, and you got to pay them hoes to leave. That's you got to pay them to leave. That's crazy. All your life, you used to have to try to pay them to stay. Baby, please stay with me. I love you. As soon as you get a little money, you don't think them light bulb click? Oh, you want to get rid of me? And hey. so these women, these women play that game. They get with these affluent, powerful, wealthy men, and they like, okay, nigga, you're going to have to pay me to leave. And Jada Pinkett Smith's price is probably a little too high or beyond comfort for Will. So he's like, nah, bitch, we just going to stay here and goddamn it, and it is what it is. I pray, I pray, I pray, yeah. man. I pray he get away from him. I pray. Cause, uh, it's an old saying, some money costs too much. That girl, Michael yeah. Jordan, uh, she Michael Jordan for dysfunctional black women, boy. She Michael Jordan. She is the GOAT, boy. She is the, the she is the goat of that shit, boy. She is toxic as fuck. She got future beat by ten, boy. That's boy, right. and she, she she public with it, like publicly making a mockery of this man. And this is one of the greatest actors, not black actors, greatest actors. Period. One of the richest men. Period. One of the most respected and revered individuals in the history of the world. And that's motherfucking West Philadelphia, born and raised. Born and raised. And you just, and you are just taking a chunk out of this man by chunk, by chunk, by chunk. And you have poisoned the, the minds of your daughters and your children, too, because they are in accordance to your bullshit and your fuckery. See, men... We may be physically stronger than women, but when it comes to certain things, women are way more, way more strong than we are. When it comes yeah. to, 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 to planning, because <laughs> you got to, in order to plot, you got to plan, right? A, a plan. Man, they, they can't plot like a woman can plot. A, a woman will be laying right next to you in your bed, sucking, fucking, cooking and cleaning and the whole time plotting to stab you in the back. It will smile and do it with a with a smile and face. And so men, we we a lot of times, and I always say this, Sean, we love men love unconditionally. Women love conditionally. We love more pure than women do. I will say that why? Because I could be riding in my Bentley through McDonald's to get me a tea. And if that girl in that drive through window look like something I like, that's right. She may have the option to one day date me. But 
I ask you the same question. Is there any way if I was Not in that McDonald's, if I was in that Not McDonald's, chance. there is no way in hell that this Not woman is going to get me and say, come on, get in the passenger seat and ride with me. I'm going to build you it up. It ain't a chance in hell. It ain't a chance on planet Earth. I and don't so, care if you look like I don't know the the, the, the the freaking Zeus and and, and all of the gods rolled into one. You ain't got a chance. And so that's why I said we when we love a woman, we love who she is. We love her essence. We love her her being here. We love this woman. A lot of women love a man on the condition of. He's a great protector. He's a great provider. He's he, he he brings value to my life. He he brings a leadership to my children. All the things that he brings to the table, that's what she loves. And in and inadvertently loving the man. Baby, I love your ass because you was born. You was born, and God made you. And you know what? He made you for me. And you know, I don't give a shit if you bring a dime in this motherfucker or $10 million in this motherfucker. I'm still going to love you the same way. But baby, that man that brought you $10 million last year, let his ass come in this bitch empty-handed this year. And see ah! how it does not make sense. And so, fellas, you know, we got we to gotta understand and play the game for what it is. Like, hey, yeah, she loves you. You are the man for her until you're not. And when you're not... Oh, really? Unfortunately, so real. it's not going to make sense for her. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.